As president of Ghana, I often found myself making decisions informed by the rich history of our past, the opportunities of the present, and the potential for the future of our citizens and people. For me, decisions would come down to what will do the most good for the most people to create a stronger future to drive development, innovation, and progress. Today, as a co-chair of the Global Panel on Agriculture and Food Systems for Nutrition, I continue to consider this question, not just for Ghana, but also for the world. What is it that drives development, innovation and progress? It is people. And what fuels people? Nutrition. We cannot grow as nations if we are not fully supporting the growth and development of our people with adequate nutrition. Yet a new report commissioned by the Global Panel shows that our food systems are failing us. Not only are they not delivering the nutrition the world needs today, but we are also faced with an unprecedented convergence of challenges around food and diet in the decades to come. If we continue on this path, the cost of malnutrition to both individual and national developments will continue to impact the health and wealth of our communities and nations and will continue to hold us all back from achieving our potential. What this report also makes clear, though, is that we have the chance to change the course by taking action now. As outlined in Food Systems and Diets, facing the challenges of the 21st century, we must rethink how we grow, produce, process, market and prepare foods to ensure that people are not just being fed, but they are also nourished. The report outlines actions that countries and partners can take to start creating this change now. It is aimed at policymakers in all low and middle income countries to go beyond agriculture to encompass trade, the environment, and health, and also to harness the power of the private sector and that of consumers to demand better diets. The evidence is clear, and so is the opportunity. It is up to us to put the evidence-based recommendations in this report to work, and to change our approach and align our policies and investments. The actions we take or fail to take now will have lasting effects. So my appeal is to let us all work to implement the recommendations. Thank you.